The biggest shark to ever live, as far as is known, is Otodus Megalodon. To that end, there are a few accounts of the thing surviving to modern times. All of them are incredible nonsense made to grab headlines, but that doesn't mean every single report of giant sharks are. One such report is even tantalizingly credible. Malpelo is a small oceanic island in the eastern Pacific Ocean, located about 500 kilometers 310 miles west of the Colombian mainland, with a military post manned by the Colombian Armed Forces. It consists of a sheer and barren rock with three high peaks, the highest being Cerro de la Mona, with a height of 300 meters 980 feet. The island is about 1.5 kilometers, one mile in length, from northeast to southwest, and 640 meters in width. At first glance, the island seems to be barren rock, devoid of all vegetation, but deposits of bird guano have helped colonies of algae, lichens, mosses, and some shrubs and ferns establish, all of which glean nutrients from the guano. Lizards are the only non-avian vertebrates on the island, with three species total. Nazca boobies use the island to breed and hatch their eggs, with as many as 110,000 of them using the island sanctuary. Thus, a small nature reserve was set up to help protect the island's inhabitants. The Malpelo Nature Reserve, a plant and wildlife sanctuary, is a six-mile area covering the island and the immediate ocean around it. It's also home to a unique shark population. Swarms of 500 hammerhead sharks and hundreds of silky sharks are frequently seen by diving expeditions, making it an immensely popular shark diving location. It is also one of the few places where the small-toothed sand tiger has been seen alive. The small-toothed sand tiger is a species of mackerel shark with a patchy but worldwide distribution in tropical and warm temperate waters. They usually inhabit deep water rocky habitats though they are occasionally encountered in shallow water and have been known to return to the same location year after year. It's due to its deep water habits that no one usually sees them, hence why the Malpelo sightings are so important. They are often spotted at the dive site El Bajo del Monstruo, the base of the monster. This name isn't just for funsies, it alludes to a sighting of a monstrous shark made in the early 2000s that became something of an unusual and obscure cryptid legend. An online report by oceanographer Francois Serrano, published in 2001 on the now defunct PhotoOceans website, detailed the first attempt to find and study this cryptid. In this report, he insinuates that there have been multiple reports of this animal, a 6-meter, 19.7 feet long, small-toothed sand tiger shark, or something like it, with huge eyes and a fin directly above its pectoral fins. He said that the first observations made it possible to classify the shark in the Odontaspididae family at the side of the sand tiger shark, Odontaspis taurus, and of its cousin, the small-toothed sand tiger, Odontaspis ferox. Multiple individuals have been sighted, with the females being that huge great white size. Individuals were sighted in waters below 50 meters, 164 feet, around Malpelo Island. According to Serrano, Sandra Basuto, biologist in charge of Malpelo's nature reserve, launched an expedition in March of 2001 to find and identify these giant sharks, which have been dubbed El Monstro, or Bongo, by the divers who first observed it. The scientists' work was difficult as the archipelago, insulated at two days by sea from Colombia, is beaten by dangerous storms and violent currents. To complicate the researchers' task, the shark appreciates deep diving and remains in cold water under the thermocline. According to Serrano's article, the Malbello monster is distinguished from small-toothed sand tigers by the very advanced position of its dorsal fin above the pectoral fins. 
It distinguishes itself by a larger eye, and especially by a much more important size, with certain females observed at Malbello reaching the aforementioned 6 meters, whereas small-toothed sand tigers usually do not exceed 4 meters in length. Serrano asks, would it be a simple morphological variable of the small-toothed sand tiger specific to an isolated population? Is it a species by itself? Many dives will be necessary to answer the question, and all those raised by the two rare observations of this shark. Are these sharks there all year long? Is Malpelo Archipelago a halting place on a transoceanic migratory route? Are the divers only observing the few representatives of a sedentary population which live much deeper? Is it a reproduction gathering? The observed sharks are often large females. Is it about circadian migration? However, according to fish expert and paleontologist Tyler Greenfield and his Inserte Cetus blog, some marine biologists have concluded that the Malpelo monster is a small-toothed sand tiger and not a distinct species. Confirmed by both observed morphology and DNA analysis conducted by Roger Vanell in 2002 and Sandra Besura Leon, Susana Caballero Gaitan, and Germaine Soler in 2010. After looking at high-quality photographs and footage of the Malpelo sand tigers, Tyler Greenfield completely agreed with their assessment. Serrano's claim that they have larger eyes than typical small-toothed sand tigers is not accurate, which may have been due to an unfamiliarity with its appearance. This leaves the intriguing claim of a 6-meter length, which remains unaddressed by the scientific studies. At the time of Serrano's article, the maximum length for small-toothed sand tigers was thought to only be around 4 meters, 13.1 feet. Since then, larger sand tigers have been documented that make 6 meters seem more reasonable. Still a tad larger than the largest ever found or caught, but much less of a huge jump. Until recently, the record holding small-toothed sand tiger was a 4.5 meter, 14.8 foot female caught off the coast of New South Wales, Australia in 1986. However, this record was surpassed by one captured by a Russian trawler in 1985, but not published until 2019. It was a 5.2 meter, 17.1 foot female dredged up from 800 meters, 2,624 feet over the southern edge of Walvis Ridge in the mid-South Atlantic. Not only is its size notable, but it is also the first occurrence of small-toothed sand tigers in the open waters of the Atlantic. This increase of 0.7 meters in the maximum length of these sharks is surprising, and it puts an additional increase of 0.8 meters to a full 6 meter length within the realm of possibility. The fact that the largest small-toothed sand tigers have been females lends further credibility to Serrano's account. While the giant size of the Malpelo sand tigers is anecdotal, it cannot be discounted based on current information. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, like this video, drop a comment in the comment section below, and hit the bell icon to stay in the know with everything Edge. Thanks for watching.